Hello, hello, this is Nick Pancakes, and welcome to my let's play of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, Kerbal Space Program is a game in development uh, by some guys called Squad, who I have not heard of before this. I do not think they have any previous games out. Um, but Kerbal Space, Space Program is a game about creating spaceships and uh, attempting to get them into orbit and onto the moon and other such space exploration items. Uh, I have not played this game at all yet. This is uh, literally my first time trying any of this. I came in here to get my video settings going and other than that have not played. So let's go space plane hangar, vehicle tracking. Okay, I think we need to build us a ship. And look at that, we have a, a tutorial. That's very nice, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, all right, all right. Got some clicky noises here. First step to building the spacecraft is selecting a command module to use. The command module is where the crew sits and flies the ship from. To select a command module, simply double click one of the available modules on the select screen. Uh, let's see, these have all the same cost. I like the way this one looks. All right, we have a command module. So we can take parts from the left, it says here, and try grabbing a solid booster, dropping it under the command capsule. So a solid booster. It's a fuel tank, jet engine, liquid fuel, fuselages, some adapters. And there's our solid booster. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Toroidal aerospike rocket and a turbojet engine. So let's select one of these guys. Uh, let's see how we can manipulate here. If we just click on that, that kind of dropping it under the command capsule. I don't think we wanted to attach it there. Yeah, we wanted it. Yeah, like that. There we go. All right. They will snap to nearby attach points. Um, my scroll wheel here brings me up and down in Z level, which is nice. Uh, indicated by glowing spheres that appear whenever part is right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Organized into categories, uh, which is these up here. And I'll actually let's see propulsion, command, and control, structured, and aerodynamic, utility, and scientific. Kind of neat and some decals and crew which are apparently currently empty anyway um we want the structural and aerodynamics ah yes so it filtered out some parts for us uh some parts like winglets don't need to be attached to, onto attach points they'll stick to the surface any surface that'll hold them try adding a wing jet to the or winglet sorry winglet onto our booster here. I imagine we want to try and line this stuff up. So I'll make use of the line that's already drawn on the wall. Now I gotta kinda just guess my way here. Let's, let's try there. See if I can't Looks looks about right. Whoops, that click did not come, did not register. And it's definitely off by a fair bit here. Let's see if I can move this one up. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've been <laughs> right clicking and panning around. Uh, also possible to rotate the parts before placing them. To try to attach a new set of winglets, but before placing them, use Wasad, uh Q and E to rotate it in different directions. And you can hold Shift to rotate in smaller increments. Press Space to reset. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and press Next. Uh, removing unwanted parts is simple. Grabbing the part from the ship, dropping it back into the parts list. Part cannot attach to the ship; it will become frozen, so that you can pick it up later or reposition it. And you can delete with the delete key. Frozen parts will not be launched along with the ship. Try removing the boost you added, and this will do well. Fine. I guess I'll start all over again. 
Good rockets are actually a stack of several rocket engines, boosters, and fuel tanks. Those are called stages. As a rocket climbs and accelerates, it jettisons away the spent fuel tanks and boosters. The other engines further up the stack will be ignited. Um, okay, well, yeah, I guess it's true we didn't have any fuel on that set, so I guess best not to get too dedicated to any designs I have going here yet. The main tool for creating a multi-stage spacecraft is the decoupler part. It can be found in structural and aerodynamic. Circular intake, tail, delta wing. There's the decoupler. All right. Uh, when a decoupler is activated, it separates itself from the ship and takes along whatever is connected to it. All right, so we're gonna have a decoupler right under our command capsule so that it can detach from everything else. Um, and yeah, we have an icon here now. Okay, so that is our staging sequence. All right, that's pretty neat. When flying, uh, you will go through the sequence from bottom to top, activating all the parts under each numbered tab. Um, also note that adding a decoupler will add more numbered tabs to the list. This is because decouplers will split the rocket when activated and all the parts above it should be activated later. Having to disagree with the way our engineers have laid out the staging sequence, you can change it by dragging the icons up and down. Each icon represents a part, and that part will only be activated when the stage under it is activated. For now, it's okay to leave the staging sequence as is. Okay, so I'm going to add a solid booster here, which was the one I added before, right? Yeah. So we'll add that there. Let's see if we, there we go. That's what we want. We can see here now that we have our command module, our decoupler, and then our booster. All right, and then last thing we need is what will happen when the engine runs out. Oh yeah, yeah, parachute our way down. Perfect. You can also have landing struts and a small gear bay, so you can actually make like a more. Uh, subspace flight style airplane that can actually land like a, a regular airplane. That's pretty neat. Alright, so I think we've got that. Parachute's icon was added along with the command module. Sure, if you say so. Is that connected? I can't tell if it's connected there or if it's floating. Ah, there we go. Okay, I was right. But now I feel like it's going to be imbalanced and all that jazz. Well, let's have to go. Alright, so let's hit the launch button. Check out how the launch pad goes. Let's take a little time here. Okay. Oh, even more tutorial. Nice. So this is our launch pad. We have uh, Milbert Kerman here, Early Kerman, and Dreven Kerman. So all of our curvals are related, direct relatives of each other. Uh, the tutorial will brief you on the basics of uh, plot piloting a spacecraft. Excuse me. Uh, if you haven't done yet, do the vehicle assembly tutorial. I did that. All right. Flying spacecraft spacecraft is all about being in control. It's generally a very chaotic situation. As a pilot, your main flight controls will affect the pitch. Rolling yaw of the ship. Let's take a look at those first. All the other controls will be locked until they are needed. Okay. Pitch is the angle of the nose in the ship in relation to the horizon. Positive pitch angle means that the nose is pointed upward, while the negative means your nose is pointing towards the ground. Control the pitch of your ship using W and S. Okay. So, so let's try now. Oh, okay. So we can see our little meter here. Uh, excuse my very loud clicky keyboard. All right. Yaw is A and D as expected. It is the vertical axis, side to side motion of the ship's nose. And then Q and E will be our roll, which you can, you can see here is moving as well. So that gives us a spin, which is something we can actually do while it's on the platform. All right. So we're trying to keep it keep it stable while it's flying through the air. Throttle controls the output power of the ship's engine. More throttle means more thrust and therefore more speed and lifting power. Note that the throttle can on only affect engines that can be throttled, like liquid engines. So I believe we use the solid booster so it doesn't have any 
any throttle control at all. Relationship at, at full throttle over a long period of time can cause the engines to overheat, except this guy, um, and ex eventually possibly explode. So, uh, left control and left ship, left ship, left shit. Oh my goodness, left shift. Uh, you can see controls are throttle here. All right. Throttle plus pitch roll, yeah. Main controls you'll need to master for a successful crash free flight. Uh, so remember that all these controls have a limited amount of effectiveness, so bigger, heavier ships probably respond much more sluggishly. Sluggishly, Jesus. Okay. Um, good to keep in mind that all the stages are separated from the ship, it will become lighter, therefore easier to control. Alright, stability augmentation system. <laughs> or the sickness avoidment, avoidance. God, scheme. I can't. Alright. Whatever it stands for, what it does is try to stop the, sh the ship from spinning around using computer controlled auto torque drive compensator. Counteract the rotation of the ship. MK1 Control Pod comes with a free trial version of the SAS system, which is less powerful than a dedicated SAS module, but strong enough for a small ship. So we'll have to add to our ship later a specific module for that. Um, SAS can be activated by holding down F. See if I have a uh, visual response here. Yeah, here we go. Or toggle it by pressing T. So, yeah. All right. Notice that the SAS force indicator pops out of the command pods. I, I guess what that means here. Oh, no. Out of here. SAS force. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the indicators pop out of the icons. Vehicle assembly tutorial that the ship creates an icon in the stack. Icons only indicate which stage it belongs to, but they also display some critical information about the parts. As you've seen, parts like the SAS module can display a SAS force gauge. Other parts, such as boosters and fuel tanks, will display information as well. Fuel levels and temperatures. All right. RCS is reaction control system. Several small thrusters to help control. Man, there's a lot of buttons here. Uh, so we have R, RCS. Um, cool I don't have those but whatever okay so and we can move through each stage by pressing space and we're blinking green all right sure I assume that means this it's not really blinking green but okay Oh geez, knowing how your ship is oriented. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, nav ball. I assume ship knows in relation to the horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compass bearing. Okay. Green icon shows where you're going, and a purple one that indicated the direction of the launch pad. These icons. Also have their backwards or retrograde representation. Excuse me while I have a sip of my coffee here. Okay. I think... Sure. I think I can figure it out. I hope I can figure it out. Um, upper part of the screen here of your altimeter. Should be our altitude. So altimeter, I guess. Vertical speed and atmosphere gauges. Uh, distance to the planet's surface at sea level. So do we know which one upper part of your screen? Oh, up here. Okay. So we're at 71 now. So 71 is our starting point. Okay. Upper left corner is mission elapsed time. Okay. Oh, we can see time warp control. Oh yeah, okay, so if we want to watch it happen in faster time, we can do that. And here's our crew members. Two different camera modes. Free camera and chase camera. Press C to cycle through. Some more buttons for me. And our overall map. So we can see our trajectory by pressing the M key for map. Okay, and this is what the map view looks like. So this should allow us to see when we're in orbit, when we're not, how close we are to our, our moon over here. 
moon or moon name moon we can scroll wheel in and out and press tab to have it focus on other objects in space so we can target moon oh there's a lot of stuff out here oh there's another spaceship or is that our spacecraft uh, i guess it's our spacecraft damn <laughs> the way it had it camera facing way out there had me uh, a little confused i was hoping there were some nearby friends we could go visit okay so that's the flight tutorial let's do this we're ready to go we're going Still falling here, so we fall in the ocean. I don't know if I need to press space again to get my parachute out. Yeah, okay, that's all good. Let's hope that opens up. Can we? Uh, okay. Going pretty fast still. Not a big fan of that. But I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna land in the shallow ocean over here. Successful first launch. Don't have enough power to get out of the atmosphere. With just that one little rocket booster, but that is okay. Just wanna see our little buddies making safely up. Yeah, alright. Parachute opened. Let's see if we can't speed this up a little bit. Time warp 2x. Oh to is as fast as we can go when we're in atmosphere. There's moon. We're trying to go to there eventually. Alright. All good. That's it. <laughs> what do I do now? Let's end that flight. Yeah. Alright. Lift off. Separation. Splash down hard and was destroyed. Splash down hard and was destroyed. That's what we separated, so that's fine. I think that's it. All right. So that'll conclude the first video on the tutorial here. And the next video, I'll, uh, I'll try and get a ship made. How about that? See you guys later.